my father's father's side, my family originated in Van. They left Van in 1890 and went to Berejik. From Berejik around the 1930s, they went to Lebanon, which they, where they lived for a couple of years. And after that, in the, around the 1980s, they came to Canada. From my father's mother's side, my family originated in Everek. During the genocide, they left and they came to Lebanon. And from Lebanon, they came to Canada eventually. My mother's side originated in Dikranagert, and during the deportations of 1915, they left, they left Everek, went to Aleppo. Their families who settled there for a couple of years, and after that, they came to Lebanon and eventually back to Canada. From my father's side, we don't have any artifacts till this day. However, from my mother's side, we have small handmade lace work that we still have till this day. My dad's grandmother, Takli, remembers being an eight-year-old while she was being deported and having gold coins sewn throughout her dress. Um, she came from a large family, however, not much is known about her family because most of them, except for her, were massacred during the genocide. We remember the past by first of all discussing it. I hear the stories from my great-grandparents and that were passed on from generation to generation and my parents tell me we discuss it. That's why I'm in an Armenian school to learn the most about my country's, my culture's history, but also about my personal history, which I learned through my parents. And we discuss it as much as we can to keep it alive. Um, difficulties we face is that most of the eyewitnesses in our family have passed away, either passed away or they were reluctant to talk about the horrors they witnessed. So we don't know the exact history of our family in very, very many details.